Hi, my name is Emma Gilmore and I'm a junior and I'm a member of the You Matter Club. So the You Matter Club started seven years ago by a group of students who believe in addressing the mental health challenges and suicide awareness prevention. As outlined on the You Matter website, it is the belief that everyone has to make a contribution, something important to do, and a purpose waiting to be fulfilled. Sometimes people experience mental health challenges, disorders, or illnesses that are significant and require extra help. The message is that you matter because you may need help and you matter because you may be in a position to help another. My name is Sophie Anderson and I'm a junior and a member of the You Matter Club. You Matter works on various projects each year that promote awareness and positive mental health practices. We work closely with the Center for Health and Learning and attend their annual conferences for VT youth who are interested for, in advocating for mental health awareness in the schools. Some of our projects have included a 5K walk to raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, hosting an interactive play on dating relationships, and a collage of celebrity mental health advocates. We create bulletin boards in the school and have presented workshops on how to help a friend and stress management. We've been to the State House in Montpelier to lobby legislators on the importance of funding for mental health and suicide prevention programs in schools. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for teens and women. Hi, my name is Jenna Montgomery and I'm a junior, a member of UMATA, and the co-director of Outreach for the Yellow Tulip Project. On October 10th of 2019, coinciding with National Mental Health Day, the group decided to plant a hope garden. The garden is inspired by the Yellow Tulip Project, which was started by student Julia Hansen from Maine. Julia lost two of her best friends to suicide during their teenage years, and she's also struggled with mental health issues of her own. The hope and mission of the Yellow Tulip Project is to smash the stigma of mental health and encourage others to talk about mental health issues because they're not alone. The significance of the tulips is related to the two friends that she lost. One loved tulips and the other's favorite color was yellow. Our group took charge of the event from requesting donations of tulip bulbs from the community to creating presentations and posters for promotion. We had roughly 100 students take part in planting the bulbs after a presentation from club members. The celebration is a reminder that mental health should not be ignored. This last year, in particular, has negatively impacted many young people's outlooks on life, and just like the tulip bulbs, we can come out of a dark place, and with help from others, we can bloom to our fullest potential. Hi, my name is Jacob LaRouche. I am a senior and a member of You Matter for the last four years. I would like to thank the Chorus and the Stafford Video Program for helping out our celebration today, and like to introduce you to our guest speaker, Sean Dillon. Sean is a native of Rutland and attended Mount St. Joseph High School. He was a basketball standout there and still the all-time leading scorer with 1,581 points. He then played basketball while attending New York University. He is a field advocate for suicide prevention, attending forums at the Vermont State House and in Washington, D.C. Currently, he works at Heritage Family Credit Union. We are pleased to welcome him back home to Rutland and hope to collaborate with him in the future. Thank you, Jacob, for introducing me, and thank you to Nancy for reaching out and inviting me to speak with you. I'm so proud of you all for, for being a part of You Matter, and I just want to share my personal story with you and why I know You Matter and I know you're helping others. So when I was growing up in Vermont uh, with my stepbrother, Tad, who I considered my brother, um, we played every day growing up on our farm, and eventually, as Jacob mentioned, I went away to NYU and lived in the city, and Tad and I stayed close throughout the years. Eventually, Tad was struggling with some mental health issues and didn't know how to ask for help. And I didn't know what signs to look for. And we lost Tad to suicide. And it was, it was very tragic, and I didn't know how to handle that experience. And so ultimately, after years of trying to find myself, I found American Suicide Prevention and joined the local board in New York. And I found a whole community of others who had experienced similar loss. And ultimately just decided to dedicate my life to doing whatever I could to help people who are struggling with mental health. And what I realize is if you can help one person get through a bad moment or a bad day, you may have saved their life. And by saving that life, you've prevented a ripple effect of all those people that love that person from experiencing the loss that I've experienced through the loss of Tad. There were no You Matter clubs when I was growing up. I wish there had been. I didn't know how to ask for help. I didn't even know how to share my feelings. And so I kept them all bottled up inside and really didn't know how to find an outlet to share them. A club like You Matter and a movement like You Matter can change all of that, not just for yourselves, but if someone, another student sees that you have this club or that you're participating in this, and you're sharing your feelings, 
and they realize that it's okay to do that, you're helping them, even if they don't participate with you directly. And I can't tell you how proud I am of your organization to, to put this forward and to put it out there. You are brave. <laughs> that is courage and strength. I saw a shirt that said, kindness is not weakness. That's right, it's not. It's actually courage and strength. To be able to say what you're feeling, especially at your age, is really hard. Keep doing it. Keep talking. You're helping people just by coming out here today. Thank you for inviting me. You know, I'm happy to share anything you want to know about me or my experiences with suicide prevention or what I think. Uh, if you think it'll help you, by all means, reach out to me. If you want to read more about my story and our loss of Tad, just Google my name in NYU. There's an article out there on it that you'll see. Um, but really, someone said it earlier, let's smash the stigma of mental health. Yeah, we're doing that today. We just talk about it. I don't feel good. Someone mentioned that I played basketball when I was younger. That's true. That was a long time ago. And I had no problem saying, I can't play today. My knee hurts or I hurt my back. I had no idea how to say, I don't feel good today because I'm depressed. Or I'm having these feelings and I don't know what to do about it. All you have to do is find a friend or a loved one and just tell them. And it'll be okay. And they'll help you. And that's how we help each other get through these hard times. And I know you can do it because you're all here. You've already started doing it. So thank you again for having me. Keep talking about it. Keep asking for help. Reach out to others if you think they're having a bad day and just say, you're important to me. It's going to be okay. You have no idea how much that'll help them. Or maybe you do. Maybe someone has done that for you already. Let's keep paying that forward and helping everybody through these hard times. Thank you.